in this video we will solve a problem on hollow shaft okay so we will read a problem first so we will write the data and uh, we will try to analyze the problem here okay so first I will read the problem here a hollow shaft it is a hollow shaft here that is we have two diameters inside diameter and a outside diameter a hollow shaft 20 mm thickness its thickness is 20 mm that is 20 this will be equal to thickness 20 mm thickness transmits 300 kilowatt power okay so data here first he is given thickness equal to 20 millimeter so this thickness here can i write it this is inside diameter and this is outside diameter d naught di and d naught so outside diameter i'll write here this uh, related to thickness this outside diameter how can i write here inside diameter plus two times thickness right this is inside diameter this is thickness this is thickness two times thickness here so i'll write the outside diameter total outside diameter is the inside diameter plus two times thickness two times thickness here right so this will be equal to inside diameter plus two times thickness is 20 millimeter he is given 20 millimeter uh, this will be equal to di plus 40 this is d naught so therefore di is d naught minus 40 so this is required while solving the problem okay either we are totally we are giving the relation between thickness inside diameter and outside diameter you can substitute any uh, values here okay so 20 millimeter thickness transmits 300 kilo, uh, kilowatt power here the power is given p equal to 300 kilowatt convert this in terms of watt that is 300 into 10 raised to 3 watt okay power at 200 rpm its speed speed is 200 rpm that is speed that i am denoted by capital n equal to 200 rpm 200 revolutions per minute here determine the external diameter i want to determine the outside diameter d naught d naught equal to how much okay determine the external diameter of shaft if the shear strain due to torsion is not to exceed 0 0.00086 it means the shear strain due, due to torsion it should not exceed 0 0.00086 it means maximum shear strain he is given that is the gamma we know that we are denoting the shear strain is the gamma he is given the value 0 0.00086 uh, it, is, it has no unit okay take modulus of rigidity is 0 0.8 into 10 raised to 5 newton per mm square what is the notation here g the modulus of rigidity g equal to is given the 0 0.8 into 10 raised to 5 newton per mm square mm square okay so these are all the data is given the thickness of the hollow shaft that we, we are connected in terms of our inside diameter and outside diameter we will get the uh, relation then power transmitted by the hollow shaft is 300 kilowatt the speed is its speed is 200 rpm then we need to find out the what is the outside diameter of the hollow shaft if the shear strain due to torsion is 0 0.0086 and uh, given the uh, modulus of rigidity for the shaft material is 0 0.8 into 10 raised to 5 newton per mm square uh, how we'll start here how we'll start the problem first he is given the power power transmitted by the shaft and the speed is given we have one relation uh, between power p and the speed here that is power transmitted p equal to 2 pi n t by 60 okay 2 pi n t by 60 this is watts so power transmitted how much is there 300 into 10 raised to 3 watts any speed of the shaft t is torque the 
torque developed inside the uh, hollow shaft and divided by 60 here. Now substitute the values and find out the unknown here. That is three, 300 into 10 raised to 3 equal to 2 pi. What is the speed? Speed is the 200 RPM. 200 into torque divided by 60. So simplify and after simplification the torque value we will get here T equal to 143 23.9 Newton meter it is we will get in terms of Newton meter convert this in terms of Newton mm because we want all in terms of Newton and millimeters so this will be equal to 143 23.9 into 10 days to 3 Newton mm Newton mm this is the torque developed in the hollow shaft so next what we can find out from others P we already used and the speed we are already used. Now the he is given the shear strain and the G. Is there any relation between shear strain and uh, the modulus of rigidity? We have the relation. The modulus of rigidity equal to shear stress by shear strain. Right? Use that equation and find out the unknown data. Next, G equal to shear stress by shear strain. Right? So G already is given the modulus of rigidity for the hollow shaft 0 0.8 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per mm square equal to though we can we, we need to calculate the shear stress maximum shear stress developed inside the hollow shaft and shear strain is given that is 0 0.00086 okay so simplify and find out the uh, the uh, shear stress value therefore maximum shear stress value after simplification, we will get 68.8, 68.8 Newton per mm square. Okay, this is the shear stress developed, and this is the torque developed here. Okay, uh, these are the data uh, we we have calculated by give, uh, after given the after giving the uh, data, uh, the values here. Okay, now we need to find out the outside diameter, outside diameter. So we can use any one the formula here. Uh, we can connect the relation between T and the tau. We know that for hollow shaft, we uh, we know the equation. We derived in the previous uh, the video uh, the relation between torque and the shear stress. That we will use here. Okay. So what is the relation? The torque developed inside the hollow shaft for the hollow shaft torque developed equal to pi by sixteen tau d naught raised to 4 minus d i raised to 4 divided by d naught okay this is the one of the relation important relation in for the hollow shaft we derived here okay so now substitute the whatever the values is given the we, we calculated already torque here 1 4 3 2 3 point 9 into 10 raised to 3 equal to pi by 16 also we calculated the maximum shear stress into 68.8 so d naught raised to 4 minus we want only one the unknown value here d naught and di2 are here but we know that di in terms of d naught so the thickness i simplified here before right so inside diameter is outside diameter minus 40 so substitute here di value okay di is so d naught minus 40 d naught minus 40 to the power of 4 divided by d naught okay so now for all this only one unknown data here d naught uh, d naught right so we will simplify This we will get here. We will take D naught and simplify this this only uh, this much here. We will get 1060 1060 334.6 into D naught into D naught equal to d naught raised to 4 minus 
d naught is to four minus forty to the power of four. Forty to the power of four here. Okay. So this you will sim simplify here. Uh, after, after simplifying, we will get here this uh, d naught here. D naught is d naught square minus plus that is d naught square minus forty square. This is one we'll get, and one more d naught square into d naught square. Minus d naught square plus forty square. You simplify and uh, you'll get this value here. Okay. So after simplification, this we will get this value, and again further simplification, we will get further simplification multiply and everything we'll get here. D naught square plus. Two times d naught square plus one six zero zero minus eighty d naught into again into we will get eighty d naught. Minus one six zero zero. If we simplify, we will get this one here. Okay. Further simplify again because we want to find out uh, we need the d naught value. Uh, separate the two from this side here. The left side I will get first one zero one zero six zero three three. Six zero three three four point six d naught equal to uh, remove the separate uh, the two here from this we we'll get d naught square plus eight hundred plus eight hundred minus forty d forty d naught into Uh, remove eighty here, eighty d naught minus twenty d naught minus twenty here. Okay. So now, if you multiply this one one six zero zero, and if you take here uh, divided by uh, left side, we will get after simplification, we will get that one zero six zero. That is six six two seven d naught equal to this inside d naught square plus eight hundred minus forty into d naught into d naught minus twenty. Okay, so multiply and uh, divide here. We'll get here. So again, further simplification. Simplify this and this. Multiply and all. We will get after simplification. We will get the cubic equation. The after multiplication, we will get cubic equation. That is, d cube minus sixty d d naught square d naught cube minus sixty uh, d naught square minus five zero two seven d naught. Minus one six zero zero equal to zero. Equal to zero. One six zero zero zero. Okay, two point. So this is this is the cubic equation we will get here. After solving the step by step, we will get the final cubic equation is this one here. So now this how we'll solve the this cubic equation? Use trial and error method. Use trial and error error method and uh, try to solve the put the value of d not here. So solve by solve. By trial and error method. Okay. 
So now uh, for trial one, I'll take d not d not value any one value. D not equal to I'll take the hundred mm, hundred mm. Okay. First take the hundred mm and substitute in this equation. So the LHS equal to if you substitute in the LHS value, therefore LHS and getting uh, just you, you substitute and simplify, we will get the minus in terms of minus we will get minus one one eight seven double zero mm we will get. Okay. So this will not match because LHS should be equal to RHS here. So this we I we get in terms of minus here. Now for trial two, for trial two, I'm taking d not equal to one ten. D not equal to take one ten mm. Okay, this is hundred mm. This is one ten mm. So substitute this again same in this equation. So we will get the LHS value. Simplify. Simplify the LHS value. We will get three six zero three zero mm. So if I take d not is hundred mm, its value is negative. If I take d not is one ten mm, its value is positive. So the d not value lies between hundred mm to one ten mm. So now we'll confirm that the d not value lies between hundred millimeter and one ten millimeter. So we'll take the almost one or eight or something. We'll check here. So take from trial one and two. D not lies between hundred and one ten, one ten millimeter, right? One ten millimeter. So take let take the D not equal to one one zero eight. How much we will get? One zero eight. Again substitute the one uh, D not equal to one 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 zero eight in this equation, in this equation. So LHS value we will get. Substitute and simplify. LHS value we will get one one nine four, one one nine four millimeter. This is almost. This is near near nearly equal. So D not is slightly lesser than. It means the <coughs> still always uh, the one not eight less than one not eight because here we will get positive value one one nine four. So D not is less than. One zero eight millimeter, one one zero eight millimeter. Substitute the almost the D not value is equal to one zero seven point five millimeter. We will get okay. So after substituting one zero eight, it will be nearly one one nine four. So it should be less than one zero eight. If you substitute one zero seven point five, almost LHS equal to RHS here. So in this way, you should find out the D not value or the final the outside the diameter of the hollow shaft is one zero seven point five millimeter.